What's going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Saying. Today we're going to be reviewing Jim Beam Repeal Batch. Alright guys, we're back with another Jim Beam product today. So this product is actually Jim Beam Repeal Batch. So this product was made in honor of Repeal Day, so the repeal of Prohibition, which Prohibition obviously cut off the uh, the use of alcohol or the ability to buy, have alcohol at all. So this is in honor of that, the Repeal Day that happened. This is a Jim Beam product, so same juice as what's in their white label. It's just kind of kicked up a notch. This is actually 86 proof versus the white label, which is 80 proof. And also, this is a non-chill filtered product, so a little bit different. Uh, mash bill is the same as what's on the Jim Beam white label, so 77% corn, 13% rye, and then 10% barley. So that's all going to be the same as far as mash bill goes. But the difference in proof, the non-chill filtering, I'm really excited to see if it changes the flavor at all, um, changes the nose, anything like that. I've heard mixed reviews on this product, um, some good, some, eh, it's very average, so... I'm curious to see for myself what it's like, so let's get into it, guys. Ooh, it is a screw top, but you know, you still get that little crack noise, I guess, if you will. Hmm. The color is really nice. Um, just starting out looking at it here, it definitely looks darker than the the normal Jim Beam white label. Um, it's still light. I mean, it's still light overall. Uh, it's got a, a light caramel color, I guess. In the bottle, it actually looks darker than it does um, in the glass, but I will say it, it looks like it's actually sticking to the glass a little more. Um, could have something to do with that, uh, that non-chill filtering going on, but um, overall, it doesn't look too bad. All right, let's go into the nose here, guys. Yeah, that nuttiness is definitely forward on the nose. So that classic Jim Beam nuttiness, I kind of describe it as a dry roasted peanut note. A little bit of caramel and vanilla in there. Um, I definitely don't smell much age on it. I'm guessing it's still the, the standard four-year bourbon, which is what the Jim Beam white label is. Yeah, definitely nutty for, nutty for uh, nuttiness forward. Um can definitely tell this is a Jim Beam product. No burn on the nose either. It's um, pretty smooth on the on the nostrils. So it's only 86 proof again, but but yeah, not much there. All right, uh, not overly complex on the nose, but let's give it a sip, guys. Cheers. It's got a little more burn. Um, tastes very similar to the white label in my opinion. Um, I don't know that the, the non-chill filtering really made much of a difference for me personally at least. Um, I still get all the, the nutty notes, very mild, very subtle flavors on the tongue, similar to what the white label was. A little bit, like I said, a little bit more of the burn with the higher proof probably. It's decent. Um, this bottle I paid $17 for, so it's definitely something I, I don't have an issue drinking straight at all. Um, it'd probably be fine mixing as well, but honestly, to me, it's not that much different than the Jim Beam White Label. Um, I kind of want to grab a glass and do a side-by-side. -side. Um, this wasn't in the plan, but let me do that real quick because I, I want to see if there is truly a, a difference in the two here. All right, I'm back here, guys. Um, I just grabbed my Jim Beam White Label too. I kind of want to see if there really is much of a, a difference here, so I'm going to pour a little bit of this. Because to me, from what I'm remembering about the white label, it's this is very similar to that. Very similar. Um, again, I will say it is amped up a little bit. This is amped up a little bit on the nose. It's, it's exactly the same bourbon to me, though. Um, 
just a little more sting in the nostrils, I guess, on the repeal batch, I would say. But yeah, that's really thin. Um, nuttiness is there, but it's it's really quite thin, almost no finish. Well, side by side, definitely the repeal batch does have more full flavors. I'll say that. Um, I don't know if it's the slight kick up in the proof or the non-chill filtering, maybe a little bit of both. Um, but it's got a longer finish. You know, as I said, this is very thin with the white label, but a little bit longer finish on the repeal batch. I mean, price-wise, between the two for a 750 ml, they're really similar. So if you can still find the repeal batch, I'd definitely say get that instead of the Jim Beam white label. It does have a little bit more more of an amped up flavor there. Yeah, it's the exact exact same bourbon notes. It's just kind of amplified a little bit. Slight vanilla, slight caramel. I don't taste much oak on it. Nuttiness forward. Um, the Jim Beam flavor profile, if you guys... I've had Jim Beam products, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but yeah, I actually, now that I'm doing them side by side, I do actually prefer the repeal batch. Um, kicked up a little bit, a little bit more more full in the mouth, a little better mouth feel on it than the, than the white label, so yeah, I think I, I prefer the repeal batch. It's decent. Um, yeah, I would definitely not have a problem buying this again. It's it's easy to drink. It's good Jim Beam flavor. So if you like the good Jim Beam flavor, it's it's a good option. Um, overall, guys, I'd say if you can find this still, it's worth the seventeen bucks. Um, again, seventeen dollars is what I paid for this locally, and um, it's definitely an improvement over the white label. Flavors are similar. It's not a it's not a huge difference. It's not going to knock your socks off and the difference and, and all that. But since the price between the two is already pretty similar, I would say definitely reach for that repeal batch if you can. It's just kind of amplified a little more. Flavors are kicked up a notch. Um, so overall, I think it's it's a decent bourbon. It's a solid budget option. So if you can find this, guys, I'd say definitely pick it up. Give it a try. If you don't like it, the worst thing you can do is mix it. And even that, I think it's going to hold up pretty well in it. So Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Um, if you like these kind of videos, I, I randomly pulled in the side-by-side -side here, but I love doing side-by-sides, and had I done them blind, that'd be even better. Um, I've got a lot of blind head-to-heads coming up planned. Um, Barrel-proof flight, rye flight. Um, I want to do individual distilleries as well, so like a Buffalo Trace flight, Willet flight, Four Roses flight, that kind of thing. So if that's something you guys would be interested, let me know down below what kind of flights would you guys like to see what kind of head-to-heads, um, even like comparing single barrels is something that interests me. So a couple different Four Roses single barrels, a couple different Buffalo Trace store picks. I think that'd be really cool. Um, let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in as well. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Stay insane. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram at Bourbon Sane and Facebook Bourbon Sane.